like uh, ip header length or uh, you know tcp uh, you know these things uh, sequence uh, number or something like that generally it will be around 2 bytes uh, uh, and uh, let us just check tcp header because i am not sure i may do some tcp header uh, yes images uh, you should find somewhere yeah generally you can see there you know the checksum and a few of that you know anything especially any time you find any length field generally it will be you know two bytes or so on a safer side i am setting that entire you know two bytes which is what it is 65535 or i can just i can do this way or i can do even you know this way also uh, not x uh, ff ff i can do in either of that way okay so Anyway, I am just uh, setting this uh, arbitrary value 65535, uh, which is again, as you know, it is almost the maximum number of that. So, I am passing that uh, number to this, uh, I mean, I am passing that value to this uh, stuff and I am setting this uh, send buff and receive buff. And uh, as I said, it is still uh, work in progress. I am reducing and checking, I am increasing and checking. I am just uh, seeing that how it changes the behavior. Okay, so the, don't take, uh, you know, this value on the face value because I may be changing it in the future. Okay, so that's what. Uh, we go back and we compile uh, GCC. And uh, yeah, after compile, uh, I'm sorry, uh, before that, what we do is we can better enable this code. See, what we are doing is we are setting it in the, you know, set socket options uh, via this uh, API set socket opt. And you can see here we are passing a sole socket and uh, uh, the name of that, um, you know, value or parameter is um, uh, so underscore receive buff and the other one is send buff. And then you can pass this uh, size and you just need to pass this size of that, uh, you know, uh, you know, variable. You can see there uh, socket length. Some people do even this way instead of this uh, variable. Somewhere if you find any examples in the, you know, uh, real code, sometimes you may find, uh, you know, directly like this uh, instead of even this. Okay, anyway, uh, you can send that and what happens is uh, it will set in the kernel and then what we can do is once again we can do get sock opt and get sock opt and we can verify uh, whether the kernel is honored that value or not because if you send some unrealistic long uh, number which is uh, you know not accepted then it will reject your uh, you know set sock opt. Okay, so you need to check cross check whether it is accepted or not. So. We can do that and uh, as you can see here I have uh, you know uncommented this whole area of the code and we can you know compile the same and uh, yeah ft it is sock ft yes so sock options yep you can see there after it has been set it is uh, been received as so and so and uh, one thing is i need to check uh, why it is um, a different number uh, you know than that say let's assume we just set a small number ah yeah it is actually the size of uh, uh, i think it's a multiplier yep uh, what is the thing is uh, it takes uh, more like a multiplier of uh, that uh, you know uh, this thing um, it is like um, it takes like a multiplier so earlier if I if you observe I have set it as 65535 uh, I hope so that is what it is in my code uh, I can go back and recheck yeah 65535 so it is like a multiplier uh, that uh, into you know this thing um, it's like a multiplier so what happens is uh, it is also dependence on dependent on uh, this uh, proc value okay in my uh, you know toffee dc vm uh, you can see here this is my vm in my vm actually i am setting some of this uh, proc uh, values uh, before in hand so i am setting quite large because it has to accept that high volume of data all the time so if i walk through my procs net ipv4 some of the values should be quite large udp uh, read mem uh, if not uh, 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 some of the values actually i'm setting it quite large okay tcp not just tcp i'm generally setting some of these uh, buffers uh, 
whether it is a read buffer and write buffer you should able to see some of them i'm increasing quite large you can see here 25 uh, 250 uh, yeah 250000 somewhere like that uh, because uh, I, all these things have been uh, preset and predefined i don't generally touch much this code uh, especially this are uh, you know tune up stuff when i change these uh, values i do test uh, a lot of uh, test cycles and then i decide a sweet spot so you can see there uh, this is the transmit queue length and you can also find uh, somewhere in the proc you should find that uh, receive uh, you know queue length and uh, stuff like that uh, if not ipv4 actually it's a general you know core value you should be able to see cat uh, w mem uh, max then you should find a large number which should not be the case in a default ubuntu install if you do a cat if you do it in this host pc let's go to the core cat you know write uh, default uh, yeah r mem max you should find a smaller number than that okay so this uh, send buffer receive buffer is some kind of a multiplier of that i'm not really sure so what is the thing is in my uh, system in my uh, vm what happens is when i define that uh, when i run that you can see here i'm just running in debug mode and you can see here this is the you know number which is uh, there before but after i run it is actually getting this uh, number set and if you uh, divide it by 65535 it is actually two times of that number so here what i'm setting is i'm setting a really large number so it is going to take some multiplier of that okay i'm i, I have no idea that what it is the basis but i'm kind of still in the work in progress but the entire objective of this video is not about teaching about you know those uh, you know each individual value and i'm meant to say the socket options are quite useful and besides just uh, you know those values in my code i'm also setting some of these uh, aspects of in this case uh, there is an option called reuse port and this increases the performance because of so and so reasons and then there is also this uh, there is a new socket option like a packet version uh, there is uh, an entire theory you can find in uh, linux um, kernel uh, documentation uh, you can do a copy and uh, you can do a search on this option uh, paste and go you will find an official uh, kernel documentation uh, somewhere here uh, linux kernel documentation yeah you can able to see here it is in uh, documentation networking packet mmap dot txt so there is a lot of theory about this uh, you know packet mmap uh, which you will find it in uh, standard linux kernel source so you can go here you can see here and go to this uh, documentation folder and uh, go inside uh, you know networking and uh, there are various uh, you know special cases have been discussed this is uh, where you will find about m map stuff so this is quite important when you need any high performance uh, data delivery and stuff you can map some of that areas of uh, you know kernel uh, socket buffers onto the user space so you don't have to do this uh, copy from user i mean to say uh, user space to kernel space so copy and uh, stuff like that so that increases the you know performance and uh, reduces the you know all type of performance overheads uh you know copying and reading any data from user space to kernel space kernel space to user space and uh, stuff like that that regular you know uh, stuff so it it kind of you can optimize so in that also they have discussed one of the things uh, which been uh, you know suggested is also that version so you can see here uh, you can get an entire documentation about yeah you can see their t packet versions uh, and you can uh, once again uh, you have this uh, you know you can set these options via this uh, set socket option uh, you know uh, api and you can see there this is the default one and this is where you can set and uh, stuff like that actually so uh, i just uh, experimenting uh, some of these areas which is why i'm saying the entire objective of the video is not about walking through each socket option but provided if you are new to socket programming and if you want to fine tune your socket code if you are unable to achieve some type of performance or something then you need to pay a visit and you need to 
you know uh, use the socket options you can fine tune there are extensively lot of socket options are available sometimes you may get uh, you know new socket options are defined time to time you may really find uh, you know uh, beyond whatever documented you may also find in future some more new socket options uh, and there may be an extensive documentation if you set that option what will happen if you don't set that option what will happen and things like that so you need to be quite uh, cautious and you need to go through the document documentation provided if you want to cross check you can go to the kernel source uh, and you can uh, cross check over there as well see this is been provided and we can go to the kernel source and you can search uh, that option and you can see there is this uh, hash define is there um, i mean enumerated data type and uh, what happens based on that value you can go through the source how it treats those packets and uh, stuff like that and if you want you can do some changes and uh, alterations and stuff see this is all about advanced level of <laughs> network programming so i don't want to touch much about so if you are curious uh, go through this uh, you know regular guide you can see there they have defined some and you can see they have not mentioned about uh, that option in this uh, example you can see there uh, this is a uh, sole packet packet version so if you search this option in a generic man page i doubt they will be documenting so some of them are not fully documented not everything you will find in one space you need to dig around and you need to find uh, all these options and some are quite tricky and you need to go through the source and also provided you you also go through the kernel documentation and you can see there there are uh, in this example there are some three uh, situations being defined the one default one is the v1 uh, this is what set as default but you can overrule as this and this in some cases this is used in some cases this can be used so in the case of my code sometimes you can see here uh, some of this uh, socket options uh, will be defined here so i have uh, documented uh, whereas uh, i can even uh, say for instance uh, i can even document about this uh, you know packet version uh, uh, about this socket option and i can put a small note that uh, you know packet option refer uh, linux kernel doc uh, and i can even uh, mention uh, this page uh, which you can get the complete documentation because if i'm wrong and if i need to revert see sometimes i do include these things in the code that doesn't mean it will be always honored sometimes i do put this in the code and uh, sometimes i may disable that and uh, it may not be in the final production version and stuff like that which is why i have you can see here i have put inside an encapsulated api and you can see here it is just a static api so it is an internal api and uh, this api i am calling it for the main uh, socket call over here you can see here i am calling it for udp sockets means udp and same way raw sockets i am just calling over here so which is why uh, Uh, although i use it doesn't mean it is going to stay in the main uh, production code sometimes i may do this and it is not useful then i may revert or i may just comment this area of the code okay till i uh, you know uh, get better picture and i get consistent results and uh, stuff like that and you can see here i can just add this documentation uh, so that this this is in this portion so in case if i'm doing any mistake or i need to revisit and it is not changing any performance metrics then i can just uh, comment this portion but in the future if i want to reattach that portion of the code or change something instead of v2 i want to change it as v3 or something then i can before doing that once again i can go to this uh, documentation and i can read uh, if there is any update or if Uh, the source code has any changes in the main kernel source and then i can come back and suitably i can do the changes over here and uh, retest once again so it's it's all experimental you can't uh, you know judge by doing something like that it is going to change and stuff so each one is uh, quite critical in this case uh, you can see here i'm uh, doing this um, uh bpf so there is something called as extended uh, uh, berkeley packet filter which is also sometimes called as linux packet filter as well when it comes in the context of linux because earlier there is this uh, berkeley packet filter and uh, as it is adopted in linux kernel it is now been called also as a linux uh, packet filter so that's what 
so some of this you know you can do whenever you uh, you know code anything sometimes you may not be sure about that but there may be highly controversial and also experimental so you can do this way and you can keep a small note in the comment so that you will know that um, possibly uh, if you are not sure you can go there and recheck and uh, retest and uh, stuff like that so hope uh, this uh, have given some big picture uh, in case if you are at a you know a beginner level a network software developer you can just go through some options so you can walk around some options and you can test them in the real time you said that a particular uh, socket option what will happen how is the behavior and uh, stuff like that and then you can change and you can play around if you are an advanced uh, uh, you know a uh, researcher uh, working on some network research you are doing some phd or stuff like that you definitely need to pay a visit and uh, you need to tinker some of this uh, to get any characteristics uh, before you conclude anything and if you are in advance uh, data com developer then definitely you should know in case if you are working extensively on user space uh, uh, you know uh you know network uh, stack uh, like in my situation the toffee data center uh, it is not an issue when you work in uh, kernel space because kernel directly you have the full control uh, there is no question of you know socket like situation in the kernel space but if you are doing uh, extensive user space uh, uh, development user space network stack some type of uh, data plane in user space and uh, stuff like that and uh, it go, it happens via kernel uh, although it's a user space network stack then you need to tweak and tinker this socket options uh, uh, you know uh, as i said uh, in my situation i want to get uh, some of that uh, you know uh, 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 performance uh, criteria i have some raw sockets and i have a situation with raw sockets i have a situation with uh, uh, you know um, Uh, regular udp flows and uh, stuff like that there are some situations some are uh, uh, very performance uh, critical uh, so i need to see that uh, you know it is more responsive and it is uh, able to cope up with uh, high bandwidth like situations so i need to experiment any socket options uh, can uh, improve the performance and uh, stuff like that uh, some socket options are geared towards uh, tcp like situations some sockets uh, Uh, options are you know geared towards uh, general network performance and uh, stuff like that so you need to definitely pay a visit in case if you are uh, curious about uh, learning about the same so i hope you like this video in case if you have anything to discuss uh, be in touch via mail or post your queries in youtube comments uh, thanks a lot for joining me stay tuned have a nice day bye bye